I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and welcome to this Cisco Certification 5-Minute Video Practice Exam on the OSI model. Now, as with all of my video practice exams, we're going to go through the questions at a pretty good clip, and if you need to pause the video for a moment or two to come up with your answer, that's fine. As always, you'll get a full explanation of the answers at the end of the video. And as with all of my videos, I really like to use the real equipment as often as we can. With the OSI model, that presents a bit of a challenge because it's heavy on theory. It's important theory and theory that you'll, you're going to use, frankly, for your entire career. But it's hard to see it necessarily in action on the routers and switches. But I do have a couple of questions for you today that we'll be looking at a live router to first off get the question and then we'll go back and check the answer. So let's dive into question one here. And for each of these four, bits, packets, frames, and segments, tell me at which OSI layer I would find these. And it's a good idea when you're studying the OSI layer, be prepared to give an answer like this with a number and with the actual name of the layer. Not a bad idea at all. Question two, at which layer of the OSI model is it, as I like to say, all ones and zeros? Where will we find those ones and zeros? Question three, uh, keeping the topic in mind, look at these four, A, B, C, and D, and then tell me which one doesn't really belong with the others. One of these, yeah, can't help but sing that song. Question four, which OSI layer is generally considered to be the manager of the entire end-to-end -end data transmission? Now let's go ahead and bring up a live router here. Let me move that down just a bit for you. Here we're looking at the output of show interface Ethernet 0. Where in the OSI layer is this value used? Then your next question, which I bet you see coming, at what layer of the OSI model would we find that value? And then finally, just a little bonus here, what's that BIA? What, what is this? I notice it's the same as this address, but what does that BIA stand for? Where do we get, where do we get that from? We'll bring that back up in just a moment. Let's hop back and check out these answers. At question one, you will find bits at the physical layer of the OSI model. It's layer one. Packets you're going to find at the network layer, layer three frames you'll find at layer 2, the data link layer, and segments are found at the transport layer, which is layer 4. At which layer is it all ones and zeros? That's the, where we find the bits, the physical layer of the OSI model. Which of these doesn't belong with the others? Again, keeping the topic in mind, segments, TCP, and UDP all operate at the transport layer where IP addresses are really used at the network layer. So it's really IP addresses that does not belong. This is the session layer. It's layer 5 of the OSI model, and it's generally considered the manager of the entire situation, or transmission, I should say. Hopefully it doesn't turn into a situation. Let's take a look at these addresses we looked at on the live equipment. That's an IP address, of course, an internet address, and that's going to be used at layer 3, our network layer. The address you see right above that is the MAC address that's going to come into play at layer 2, the data link layer. And finally, the BIA, the burned in address, that's the uh, address that is actually physically burned into the card. And basically, it's another name for a MAC address, but that's why you see BIA right there. So that concludes our five minute practice exam on the OSI model. Again, I invite you out to the website, thebryantadvantage.com, over 300 tutorials, videos, practice exams, all kinds of great features coming in the rest of 2009 and into 2010. And then at the blog, thebryantadvantage.blogspot.com, we've got a lot of great new features coming up there as well. Hope you enjoyed this exam. Plenty of others on YouTube and other video sharing sites for you to enjoy. Again, thanks for your time. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933.